Hello everyone, this is the Technodog channel. Today I'm going to review two processors from Intel. They are the i5-9600K and the i7-9700K. You will learn about the main parameters, their effectiveness and performance in various games. Both models are powerful, but from the price point of view, the i5-9600K is much cheaper. You can see the current prices in stores using the links in the description below the video. If this video is useful for you, like it and subscribe to the channel so you receive the latest notifications of new releases. Let's get started. Both processors are top-end and some of the best in their lineup. The microarchitecture is no different. The advanced Coffee Lake refresh base is used. Both tips and current consumption are identical. So what is the difference? It's all about performance and performance. The main difference between the models is in their number of cores. Both processors don't have multi-threading. The 9700K version has two cores more than its competitor. The Turbo Boost allows you to accelerate the processor by 300 MHz, which is 7% higher than the 9600K model. The designation K indicates the unlock factor at the possibility of overclocking. The process technology is identical for both chips. As a result of the 9700K's larger number of cores, it is the leader in terms of all levels of cache memory. So, the 8-core processor gets the advantage. The differences between the processors are not very large. The 9600K has a great chip, especially combined with the right motherboard and graphics card, but the other model is faster. In practice, the 6-core processor gives high speed, which is enough for many modern games with maximum graphics settings, even with a small margin of performance. Now, we know the features of the models, so let's get to testing in games. I'll say right away that all games were launched with the maximum graphics settings at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and 2560 by 1440 at the base frequency of the processors. Both chips were paired with the discrete NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 graphics card and the ASRock Z390 Tai Chi motherboard. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is an RPG slash action game created by Ubisoft Quebec. It belongs to the 11th Assassin's Creed game and its release was in 2018. All events take place in ancient Greece during the Peloponnesian War. Gamers can choose one of two characters. The game is resource intensive, but the processors coped well with the load. In this action game, the 9600K chip with full HD resolution gets the leadership. But the 9700K takes over the advantage by 3.5% with the enlargement of the picture. During the game, there is no significant difference. Far Cry New Dawn is an open-world first-person shooter from Ubisoft. The events take place in a whole county where there was a nuclear explosion 17 years ago. This game of 2019 has colorful landscapes, just like in the real world. The main character doesn't have a name, he just goes by Captain. Both ships showed excellent results. They practically do not differ in the number of frames, and I did not notice any drawdowns. However, there was an improvement in resolution, but it was not less than 65 frames. GTA V is a legendary open-world game, the 15th in the entire series. The action takes place in a fictional state, and the plot is based on three characters with a different story. You can manage it from first or third persons, and choose any means of transportation. The peculiarity is that the gamer can switch the hero at any time for completing tasks by himself. In the game, both processors are almost the same. There aren't big changes taking place. Anyway, the 9700K with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels takes a leadership by 2.3%. Don't forget that you can find out the current prices and buy the described processors through the links that I have left in the description. Metro Exodus is a first-person shooter developed by the Ukrainian company 4A Games. The release was in 2019. 
The entire plot is based on the novels by Dmitry Glukovsky, and it continues the plot of two previous episodes of the game. All action takes place in the post-apocalyptic world of 2035, where gamers need to fight with mutated creatures and people. As in other tests, there aren't any significant differences between the chips visible during the gaming process. Both chips work approximately the same, but it's not that as easy to cope with the load as with the other games. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the next series of Laura Croft's adventures from the company Eidos Montreal, which was launched back in 2018. In this version, the heroine is looking for artifacts on a Mexican island, where she has many difficulties, battles, and other confrontations. The processors showed excellent results. They have a high frame rate, but in some cases the 9600K exceeds the 8-core stone. There is some difference in the processors based on their technical characteristics, However, the changes are minimal in games. Nevertheless, the Intel Core i7-9700K places first. Both models are productive and suitable not only for gaming, but also for solving complex computational problems. They are also suitable for video processing and batch photo editing. You shouldn't choose a processor just comparing the power feature. This is the wrong approach. The cost is an important factor, so many people would like the 9600K. It is balanced, and it has optimal performance. As it turns out, the 6-core processor is worth buying, and it is good for assembling a gaming PC, comparing to its rival. In some parameters, it even surpasses it. It depends on the resolution of the screen and video card a lot. I left the prices for the processors in the description under the video. The links will lead you to the stores where you can immediately buy them and pick up other accessories. I recommend choosing the i5-9600K as it is much cheaper and at the same time almost as good as the more expensive counterpart. Both processors are overclockable. This allows them to increase the speed of their work by increasing the clock frequency, which gives completely different test results. Leave your opinion in the comments below. Do you think they are worth buying? Or is it better to purchase other models? I always read your comments and base new reviews on them. If the video is useful for you, be sure to like this video. Don't forget about clicking the bell and subscribing to the Technodog channel to always be the first to watch new releases and reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone.